I'm Mariah with My Wildlife, and I'm gonna take you into this beautiful garden that my husband Justin built for me. And I'm gonna teach you how you can get really nice, big, juicy tomatoes on your tomato plants. So, should we go do that, Xavier? Yeah. So I have my two-year-old with me who's gonna come help, as well as my little five-month-old who I'm wearing. So come on in. Okay, so here we are in our beautiful garden. And we have these tomato plants over here. So, we wanna get rid of the, do you remember what they're called? The suckers. We wanna get rid of the suckers on the tomato plants because they're gonna suck away extra nutrients that would normally be going to those tomatoes. So, I'm gonna switch you around here. Xavier, can you show me the tomato you found? The tomato. Xavier's one. very excited because there's some beautiful tomatoes starting. So, what pieces are we trying to get rid of here? This is a sucker. Okay. So we have, we just pinch it off like this. A little bit. Off. Here. Can you take that? So we want to get rid of the suckers. This is a really big sucker right here. Okay. This is the leaf. You can see that there are no flowers on I it. it. You can see that it was branching I off from the, it. yeah, you can throw that. Just don't throw it to the bunnies, okay? It's branching off from the main part of the tomato plant. And so we're gonna get rid of that. We just pinch it off like that and pull it out. So that is an example of a sucker right there. There, that's a sucker. If we go up, see all the nice flowers up here that are gonna turn into tomatoes. So we wanna get rid of that because it's gonna suck away any extra nutrients that could be going to those tomatoes to make those tomatoes nice and big and juicy. And look, Xavier, do you see all these flowers here? Right? So look at this one. Look, there's no flowers on it. So what does that mean? We want to get rid of it because it's just going to suck away nutrients. It's also important to do this because it allows because it allows the plants to breathe. So down here, you can see I've already gotten rid of a lot of the suckers so that the plants are able to breathe. If I go over here where I have done very little um, getting rid of the suckers into an area like this, I have a lot of work to do in there because the, the plants really can't breathe. So it's better for the plants if they have more airflow down by their roots. It's also better for our tomatoes Oh, good job, Xavier. So yeah, that's right. Xavier just found a sucker. Give me a high five. <laughs> yeah! And Elijah, the baby, he really doesn't like when I'm bending over. So Xavier found a sucker, so he pinched it off. Nice work. Look, so we have the flowers coming here. Nothing on this one. And then more. Yeah, I'll give you another one. So we're gonna pinch that off right there. So Xavier is throwing the sucker plants away. Um, a little note about Sucker plants, if you have rabbits, not sucker plants, but tomato plants, anything you're pinching off the tomato plant, the leaves, you can't be giving that to the rabbits or if you give it to them like in super, super small doses because it has way too high of a calcium content and it can cause kidney stone problems. So we don't wanna be giving it to the rabbits unless extremely, extremely rarely. There's one of our rabbits right now, that's Flash. Flash is having some grass time. We can go over and take a look at Flash. Do you wanna go look at Flash, Xavier? Yeah, so we're gonna walk through our pumpkin patch. Let me help you. Okay, ready? One, two, three. We're gonna go through our pumpkin patch, past the sunflowers. I put Flash over here today to try to cut the grass over here for me. And there's our dog, Daisy, who really loves the rabbits and is, really wants to play with them. Daisy, no pine. So now what can we do with all those sucker branches once we've broken them off the tomato plants? What you can do with them is you can either put them in your compost pile, or if you have an area that you're wanting to prepare for a garden for next year, you can just throw those suckers down there and it's gonna help provide some more nutrient-rich soil for the next year of building a garden in that place. So that's currently what we're doing, right, Xavier? Yeah. Even though we're moving and we're not gonna be here, there's a spot that I think would be really lovely if they ever the future owners ever wanted to do a garden there. So I've just been throwing the suckers down there to help 
that soil get better so there you have it folks if you want to get some really nice beautiful tomatoes you want to make sure that you're pinching off the suckers on your tomato plants and it's so easy to do and it will give you just beautiful beautiful tomatoes it's one small and easy thing that you can do to have better tomatoes don't forget to like and subscribe